Hello together. This video shows how to fill um, in Universal Windows Platform UWP um, list box. This is a list box with sub items of different types. Um, in usually when you uh, basically when you take a list box into a, a Universal Windows Platform app, then <coughs> you will have. Uh, a single list with uh, text on it. So this is made for uh, smartphones, um, Lumia and all that stuff. This works quite good there, but if you're um, developing your universal app for uh, for desktop or for, um, for a tablet, then you also want to have it a little bit more uh, tricky, so with some items and all that stuff. So this video is uh, is uh, the intro for my for myself uh, since I'm using this uh, small that's a picture gallery uh, and I'm loading this file uh, this list. Um, this now shows how to fill up this. Uh, come on, oh, this one. Uh, this is. The list box itself, and it's filled with uh, a folder, a user control, and this is a user control. The user control, in this case, is <coughs> let's see it here. Uh, that's the user, my user control, small one. Don't, we don't need this one at the moment here. <coughs> uh, that's a user control. There's nothing special in there. It's just the uh, here it is. It's just a uh, small picture and the text in it. And when we load the list box, then we also have the uh, selected item changed uh, event. So the, it's also important how to know what happens if there's um, if if the item selected item changes. So I'm stopping now the uh, the app, and what we see here now is. This is one. Um, this is our user control. Here it is. We have, and if you want to use it with, if you want to fill this list box with with a user control, then you first have to create a user control. It's a basic, let's say, let's say just a simple user control. Uh, create a new element, and this one is a. Uh, user control. It's written here in German, but it's uh, the same in English. So you have a user control, and inside the user control is something like a, a picture and all that stuff. It's quite easy. And <coughs> what you need in, yeah, okay. Now first, let's go this way. Uh, now, when you have the, when we have the main page here, then we have here a list box. And in the list box, there's nothing special. It's just here a blank uh, container, and we have here the select selected change um, event. And maybe scroll view and all that stuff is that's not important uh, for the example. Um, and the hay is uh, bound to the uh, it was kept uh, kept by binding to the entire. Hay. That's not that's not important. It's just a list box, and now we go to how will the list box be filled? The list box will be filled <coughs> in a way. Uh, let's say again, where are we? Uh, this is the navbar, load navbar. Here it's a navigation bar. So we have here uh, how to load uh, the first folder. This is uh, the way how it's loaded. It is that uh, yeah. <coughs> First, you have to create a subfolder uh, user control. This is the one uh, you created by user. You typing the type of the user control. This uh, UC folder. That's uh, this one here, UC folder, and. Type it UC folder and then with a small uh, starting letter, it's 
uh, UC subfolder, for example, is a new subfolder, is a new user controlled by this the same name. And then I have in this case uh, some properties. I will show you those uh, soon. And I'm when as soon as I've created it, I'm se I set those properties uh, and I said uh, I'm loading the image in there. But that's a, a how to load um, an e small but uh, image icon or all this stuff. And then finally, that's important. My uh, my list control itself is the this is the list control, and there at the items I'm adding this new uh, user control. So here, new user control, um, uh, initialize all that stuff and set up all uh, all that stuff, and then adding it to uh, the sub uh, to the parent control. And uh, now we have to go to with the user control, uh, especially there, I have uh, some properties there. When I am at the user control, there is you see here. Then I go to the uh, to the code page there. And here we have uh, a public string called folder name. In this case, it's a folder. It's just a text or name or title or something like this. And it's a get set of uh, the label element. Okay, so it's get set uh, of this uh, element, and then there's also the path, the entire path in there. It's not visible, and the bitmap bitmap itself. So this is all set by uh, when it's initialized. You have the subfolder, the element uh, itself. It's created as an object, and this object is. Um, set by the name, um, let's say ABC or something like this, or go to parent, and then I'm setting the path there. The path is not visible. Um, and for later uh, for later reusage, uh, I will ask for the path. So the L sub element contains um, and the path itself, it's w which is not visible. And be, because this is an, an, a common list box, you don't have this uh, information. You just have the bound information, which which is a text or something like this. So this is not a bound uh, list. Uh, it is just a, a list by single objects, and it's from top to down uh, with a sc automatic scroll bar. And then I'm loading the picture. Okay, this is not uh, the, not the case uh, no, not important at, at the moment and yes um, loading this uh, yeah set this one yeah okay now what's also important is what happens when we have just running it again and what happens when we change the uh, the element you see this is all automatically you see this uh, highlighted um, highlighted row that's <coughs> that's a stuff of the element itself you don't have to do anything by uh, by this also the uh, blue uh, blue highlighting and so but what you have to set up is the um, the select item uh, the event what happens there so how to read in this case, I'm reading the folder name and I'm filling those thumbnails. And what we have there is, here it is. Uh, first I go to, let's stop that one. First I go to my, here's my list box. And here's the list, list box. Uh, what happens on selected changed is, <coughs> you see this one, uh, and we go to um, co um, show me the code or go to, go to the de definition here go to definition and what we see here is um, when the selected uh, when the item is uh, changed then we have the of this list box a selected item and we I say okay create a new uh, folder element as a let's say as a blank uh, element and which is called item and this one has to be is initial uh, is filled or initialized by the list box 
uh, selected item as subfolder item or, or type of this one of the user control. So I got I get all the functionality of this uh, functionality and properties and all of this stuff. So I have now the item and as soon as I have the item I may read from the item the property. So this is the property folder name that's the written title and I also have the folder, uh, the path itself somewhere there is a selected path, I don't know where it is at the moment but I, I'm, I'm able to read it so when you see here this one I may say item path for example yeah. you see this is the property which is uh, inside and is, which is not visible so you can get all that stuff now let's, let's run it again and I hope you can reuse this code and my code is I will take the code to my uh, my website you may reuse it maybe it's helpful for you <coughs> and you see this is, I, I like this this stuff a lot and there's a difference between this list box and here's a like a, a grid uh, list view or grid view in WPF or in uh, it's called a uh, uh, wrap panel so this is not a wrap panel you say you see this is this is the list view and this is the list box so this one is only when when I'm uh, scaling this uh, the area uh, to a different size this is always top to down so even if there are a thousand uh, items there or rows it's still from top to down and this one is uh, that's a if you set um, I don't know it at the moment uh, the, if you set it the right way then it will automatically uh, jump down but on this case you also only have exactly the most uh, the most the biggest size so if one element has the size of let's say 100 pixel of hay and width then all the items will have the same size and in this case you have to wrap around it's also beautiful so I hope you uh, will select the they, they were they work the, the same way you may use also this one if you for example if you if you make a uh, explorer element like this and you want to have it as a small list which is uh, in, in the list view then you have to take also the, the name list view it's just by uh, uh, changing the, t the type of the of the list view so I hope I could help you uh, creating a list view list box with items which is a little bit more beautiful uh, than than the common list box and it works quite good for for uh, desktop applications and all the stuff which which you have to use in uh, App Store, yeah. And uh, App Store at, at the moment only is possible for uh, universal apps. And um, <coughs> so, this is with the, when you use the store, you need universal app and then jump uh, drag all that stuff in there you see this is this monitor what you see there is a, a common desktop it's a, my notebook next to me okay so it's quite good there and you see the functionality that's also quite uh, quite nice this is functionalities of uh, universal apps so it's drag and drop I, uh, I have the mouse at the moment but I may also may use my uh, finger with a or my my stylus pen for this case I think I hope I could help you and take a thumb on there or like me or not <laughs> we will see okay